Indeed. You ready, Christopher, as well? I'm <laughs> ready. I'm ready. Let's, Fantastic. let's do this shit. Good morning. I know morning. It's light outside. And welcome to Weaving Web 3 with me, James. Me, Chris. And me, Slash. Today, we're going to talk about Sui. Now, Sui is the signature celebration of Cristiano Ronaldo. He started doing it a few years ago. He actually says he shouts. You, you boys are looking confused. Are we talking about, is that the wrong Sui? No, no, I think that's the right Sui. That's the right Sui. Yeah, he's the right Sui guy. He jumps over the air and goes, ah, or shout Sui or C or whatever it is. But no, we're actually, talk- actually going to be talking about a new layer one protocol um, <laughs> called Sui. Uh, it's it's a, one of the spin offs of uh, Meta. So that, that team that did. Um, you know, all the great things you love, Facebook, buying Oculus and, you know, making it bad. All those great things, they're, they're doing a, a secondary crypto from their spin-off. So the first uh, spin-off of the crypto from this team was Aptos, which uh, went went uh, live. I think it's gone live now, hasn't it? And it was big. A lot of venture capitalist money went in there. Um, these guys are then doing a similar thing. They're at a much earlier stage. I think they secured around 300 million is that right? Yeah, behind yeah, the company. Uh, they've been valued at $2 billion. So there's a lot of money following in behind these guys. Um, so we just thought that we'd touch base relatively early. We're still in test net stage and just show you guys around some of the bits they have at the moment. Um, sort of let you know how to get in on it if you want to get in on it early. Again, not financial advice. We don't guarantee this is going anywhere at all. But just thought it would be an interesting thing to sort of show you guys and get around early so i'm going to share my it's screen. also currently all free because oh, it's, just yeah. in, it's just in test test net and dev net so sort of states so and if you, you listen to our last episode yeah you would have heard us talking about airdrops and how aptos airdropped thou- up to thousands of uh, dollars worth of the token for testing out their network and supposedly sui may or may not have the same thing so us showing you how to play on this network for free is potentially could be changing your life okay so now we've got past my terrible jokes about sui um we're into the actual token so uh sui is a layer one protocol as i said it's it's built by the guys at meta this is their main landing page you can come here to learn about various bits learn about what they're doing how they got started etc what they're building on it how they're building on it and how to use it so we've got Sui DevNet, et cetera, here. These are all about setting up nodes, et cetera, not really the user side. As a user, you want to install the Sui wallet. So this uh, is a Google Chrome extension at the moment. You can also uh, get some tokens for the Sui wallet through their Discord. Now, you don't have to just get them through the Discord. You can also request them in the wallet. So like with most uh, software wallets that are running a Google Chrome extension, you come over to your bit at the top once you've installed it and you've set a password you will see this landing page yours will have no sui in it uh, let's see if i've got one with no sui wow, in you're, it you're, you're balling there james balling, absolutely two, balling. this is what you'll see now what i've just done there is i, I flip between uh there's three or well, five but there's three useful ones uh your sui devnet you can sort of play any games do any nfts do all those sorts of bits on it Staging is more for people who are releasing apps. And then the testnet is another one like the devnet that doesn't get reset as often. It does get reset, but not as often. Yeah. Um, we'll be using mainly the SUI devnet for this, won't we, guys? Um, so if I go on to, so if you opened yours up, you come into the SUI devnet and you would have a little request here. You can then request and they will send you 0.05. After you've done it the first time, you can request more by coming up here in the top. Uh, requesting devnet tokens that'll take a second or a minute or never if you're stash some yeah, people really, some people yeah, never yeah. get paid uh there you go you see we've received 0.05 and that's landed there you've then got an activity of everything you've done going through requesting etc nothing exciting in mind unfortunately um there is another wallet that you can use with your sui at the moment and that's the ethos wallet that's the one i prefer because that's uh, cool. I actually prefer it as well. I think it's better. It works very, very nicely. Uh, mm. Again, the use force in here, though, doesn't always work, would be something I'd say. I don't know if you guys agree. Um, so the oh, from what oh, I... You just got it. You just got it. Oh, no, no. Look from at what that. I've understood with the uh, use force here, 
Um, at least for me, it lets me um, request tokens three times and then it closes off kind of like the regular SUI wallet. Yeah. So um, it sort of limits how much you can get for now. Sort of timing and stuff like that. that. That resets every hour. So you can get 0 0.15 suey every hour so you can be you can be rich like us in no time <laughs> absolutely absolutely now they don't currently have stake and earn suey but you can sort of see like they've, they've got bits in place because obviously it's test net to show where they're going with it but at the moment a lot of the things are this will be coming but doesn't exist yeah like buy swap as well if you have a look on the on the suey wallet yeah absolutely i'm going to skip over cappies i'm going to skip over ethos 2048 but i'm going to jump into uh sui nft mint review that so in here this is a super super simple way of minting an nft so if we were for example to open up an image let's find one that i prepped earlier here's right. what i made earlier <laughs> here's what i made earlier um oh let's i'll tell you what let's, let's do one let's uh let's go spiders web I can send you this one. No, no, it's fine because I, I wanna, I wanna link to one online because I wanna use the URL. Yeah. But uh, I did send you one for a URL. Oh, did you? Oh, fantastic! Yeah. Right, we'll use that then. Yes, it's gonna be a surprise. Oh. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> so if you go, oh, okay, we've got this lovely cat. I want to make an NFT. Um, all you have to do in this space is call it uh, stash pussy. <laughs> Hat. and then give it a description <laughs> sorry sorry stash you, no, I you, you really laid into this stash. <laughs> description will just be uh ginger ginger cat and then uh, image url in there hit create and then ask us to mint dun, dun, dun. no Fantastic NFT, NFT successfully successful. created. We can then transfer it. Approve. Now, when I go back to my Subi wallet and look at my NFTs, there's Stash's Pussycat. Fantastic. So it, it, it's super simple to mint an NFT on this platform. Um, you know, it, it's super intuitive. Anyone could do that. And it, it, I think that's part of what I'm enjoying about it. It's, it's so easy and at the moment because it's all free as well. It, I mean, it's that mint costs a tiny, tiny, minuscule amount of sumi. Um, but that's just how you can mint NFTs if you'd like. We've then also got um, Heapsake, which is a marketplace for sumi collections. Now, currently, bear in mind these prices, everything's free and the network constantly gets reset. So prices are a bit crazy, but this is where people are putting collectible type things. Uh, I think there's currently, uh, as I've looked, maybe 10 images in here, guys. Would you agree? Yeah, something like that. It, it, it's not a ton. It, it's more, it's proof of concept, all of this yeah, stuff, it's, rather it's, than... It's just to sort of make We're it... We're just testing out the network to see if it can survive and, like, the amount of people sending transactions and stuff like that to find bugs and essentially... Yeah. So anyone that's, that's used OpenSea before, this yeah. is fairly similar. It's obviously an NFT marketplace. Mm. You... Click on something you like, you can bid on it. Yeah, yeah. Buy NFTs, sell NFTs. Absolutely. So yeah, that is what we've got on the NFT front. The more exciting bits, I'm going to graciously, very graciously, hand over to my two my two boys. You go first, Chris. I'll go first. Okay. Best games ever. Chris, so, Chris, so, I'm sorry. We need to break this to you. Chris has been struggling with addiction for the past week. Um, me and Sash, we, we've got a group chat, and he sent a message in at 4 a.m. You know, you know what it's like when you we've all been there, haven't we? Someone's struggling with addiction playing this game <laughs> into the early hours like, of the morning. Boys, I know it's 4 a.m., but I need your support here. Um, <laughs> I'm top on the leaderboards, <laughs> yeah, I'm top of the leaderboard. I've just spent four hours playing this game. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, let me share my screen for you guys. Desktop, uh, da, da, da. There we go. So yes, uh, my addiction. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, uh, in the Sui wallet, there is something called uh, the Ethos 2048 NFT game, um, which 
you've probably seen before. See, there's there's obviously my last game. Oh, the last game's an <laughs> obvious win. win. Uh, that's a humble brag that I didn't start. Yeah, that's just, just oh, a humble well. brag. Humble, so, um, humble brag. Did you mint the NFT of that before you Of course it? I did. As oh, you can oh see, sorry, sorry. <laughs> as well, you can see here in my NFTs, I have the 256, I have the uh, 1024, I have even the 32, um, the 128, and the 2048. Chris, Chris, um, it's, that's not a silly question from Stash because he's never seen one of those before. So it's just you know, <laughs> yeah, Stash, Stash isn't very good at the game. He doesn't that's know like, how to do it. Introduced but... you to all these ecosystems, and somehow you guys just fly past it. Well, <laughs> like, huh? So maybe what am I good at anymore? Uh, you're good. You're good at networking, and you're good at introducing people to things. Perfect. So, yeah. Okay. Right. So you've all heard of the 2048 game, but have you heard? Yeah, this of Don't this know. bad boy right here. So if you go into your Ethos wallet, you have several things here, and you have eighty one ninety two game right <laughs> here, uh, which is basically exactly the same as twenty forty eight game. However, um, it goes up to eighty forty two. So as you can see, my score right here. Um, this is. Uh, my game, uh, number one, right? Number one, right here. So that's me, right there. You and see what someone, I am. Can someone you... almost reached me by the looks of it. Um, but, but they couldn't quite beat the king. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can, um, how, how is this one different then? So, like, what's the so basically, right? Um, with this, you can pre approve transactions, so it will in the ethos wallet basically if you've got the sui wallet every time you move for this game it will ask you to confirm the transaction on the blockchain because it's using it's using some um some of the sui coin basically to confirm your moves on the board mm -hmm. right um whereas this game you can pre-approve like 150 transactions and just play and it will confirm the transactions automatically um so if we go here we can click new game uh, mint new game so it'll come up with a transaction here yeah. i will approve that oh uh -oh. welcome to devnet <laughs> yeah um uh, let's try that again oh so one thing to also point out, the other one is not an on-chain game. This one, you can track every single move mm -hmm. on the chain. The other one is basically you mint the NFT of what points you got at the end of the game. Wait a second. Let me try it now. Let's try it again. Approve. Question mark. Is it going to do it? Yay! There we go. There we go. So it's approved my transaction. Um, you can put percent. the maximum amount of transactions that you want, the total gas limit. So basically, gas, obviously, if you've done anything with NFTs before, you know what gas is and you hate it. However, SUI is pretty good for gas. Like, it doesn't use that much. But yeah, I can put, let's say, 150 maximum transactions, approve, and then you can just play. Um, come on, Sui 8192. You're doing yourself like a customer. There we go. Look, <laughs> and you, you just play, and and you don't beat Chris because Chris is god at this game. Um, <laughs> it's a bit slow, obviously, because it's going through, it's confirming the transactions, it's saving it all to your wallet. So basically, like you can close, I can close this now, and then I can go back to Sui, and it'll have play exactly where I left off sort of thing because it's all confirmed on the blockchain. I would say with that, I've played it a few times as well and the speed to me has varied wildly but yeah, like Jeremy, you know, sometimes it plays absolutely fine. Yeah. And, and I think it just depends on things going on the back end of the network. Now this is just for fun and it is just for testing and all these sort of stuff so don't take it too to heart. The other one, the 2048, if you just like, oh I'd like to have a play, that one always runs beautifully because it's not on chain. So just yeah. if you want to have a play around and stuff and mint the NFTs that come for the back of it. If you could just show, Chris, in the 2048, how the NFTs get produced and stuff would be cool. Uh, yeah, so if I... Have a quick play. If it works, because because it hasn't been working for me, basically, let's reset game. 
Uh, there we go. So, oh, yeah. Um, see how fast it is already. Yeah, you can see how much faster it is. Uh, da, da, da. Is it the, is the first one 16? 32. There you go, there 16. Go. So it says here, you've got this NFT. Uh, click claim. Approve. And it should come through in a second. But I have got my little NFT. Right, let's have a look. Here we go. There's my NFT. Casual Ooh. amateur. Obviously, I'm not a casual amateur. <laughs> He's a pro. Uh, however, this is, says that I am a casual amateur. Uh, but yes, obviously, and as you go higher, you get the different NFTs. And yeah, it's pretty good. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, do we want to move on to Stash to show us the... Um, the Cappy Boys. The Cappy, Cappy Boys. Boys. Yeah. Perfect. So here we go. So let me share my screen. Da, 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 da. Ba, 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 ba. So this is basically the Sui version of like crypto punks, but they're called Sui Cappies, and the Cappy sounds for capybaras. So it's it, it's kind of like crypto kitties isn't it this yeah one? yeah that's the one yeah I yeah so it's crypto that. kitties for anyone that doesn't know was like the first nft wasn't it basically the first it was one of the first like proper big nft sort of experiments i guess and it meant that you got your crypto kitties your little kitties then you could slice them together by breeding obviously <laughs> um it, i mean who doesn't want to breed little cute cats together and they would keep some elements of each of their parents and then go down and you could basically just make them crazy um but yeah so because the dev net has reset you have to get your free cappies so you need to go to my collection get a free cappy then it will ask you to approve a lovely transaction and fingers crossed that sui wallet works for me because i've been having nightmares have you? So it's really funny. I've had, not had any issues. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that, there we look go. At this, look at this beauty. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely oh. stunning. Now I just need to get my second free one. Otherwise, I can't make any little babbies. Oh. Happy right? Not right? Yeah. yeah, you're an item, Stash. Oh, my. There we go. Okay, here we go. Get a free happy. Boom. Hopefully, it's a cool color and something doing completely different. And then incoming them being exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is literally exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> literally exactly the Hilarious. same. Hilarious. Perfect. So to sort this out, we're going to go to Cappy Market and we're going to buy a bad boy off the market. How much do I have? Okay, 0 0.04. Ouch. I'm not really. Can you request some more? Knowing my luck. <laughs> cannot <laughs> you or, buy a cheap one or will you guys be so kind and send on or we can also show people how to send this absolutely there we go okay perfect i can afford 0 0.99 okay um, come on come on i don't know as you can tell the dev net is still a bit slow and none not everything is showing up properly how about we get this lovely crying one Lovely crying one. So we purchased. Oh, it's owned by another account, it says. This one? Oh, it's already been bought. Ah. Uh, well, I'm glad, I'm glad that's come up because we were having issues with it earlier, weren't we? Where, do you remember when I kept trying to buy something and it would come up without an error? Yeah. And so I think they've added that now recently. Oh. Hi, Chris from the future here. Um, so, yeah, we had a few technical difficulties when it came to the cappies. So we're just going to switch it over a little bit and go straight to uh, the naming service. So enjoy. So after this debacle, we are going to show you how to purchase your uh, own, like any kind of username on top of the SUI network. Because usually when you send stuff to people, you will get this long, long OX75 random numbers, which is your basically public key. In order to 
save people time and making mistakes because some people have probably typed in the wrong letter, wrong number in that massive key of chain and your crypto is gone for good. I feel personally attacked, Stash. I'm the sort <laughs> of bloke that would do that. <laughs> so let's say I want to do um, Star Wars. I want to be called Star Wars. Perfect. Mm. I can be called Star Wars.sui. So if, let's say Chris wants to send money to me. He can just be like, ah, Star Wars.sui. I know that Stash. It's kind of the same as ENS. If you've if you've heard of ENS before, um, it's basically just a domain for your wallet, uh, which makes it a lot easier to send stuff, right? And you can get it for however many years. Uh, Absolutely. Unfortunately, right now they have disabled it because of the um, for whatever reasons. Um, I would be able to register it, and then that I would own that name personally for that entire year. Some people can do up to. However, you can do up to five years, can't you? For each and essentially, it's a much easier way because a lot of people have literally lost thousands and thousands in crypto because it's really hard to remember. They get one character of that wallet sort of wrong. I, th I think the good thing to explain to people about how domain names work is that essentially when you go to google.com, you're not. Your computer is resolving a request for that name, which then gets pushed to an IP. So, so essentially, the way it works in computers is your computer says uh, in its name service, go to google.com, and then somewhere else in the network says, oh, google.com, they mean this IP. So what we've done on that is we've made the internet world of binary, one, zeros, hash, etc., more easy for people to use. So that's what they did with Web 2, and this is just the same in Web 3. It's just at the moment we're at that early stage still where back in the day for the internet, you had to you used to type in www.webname.com do you know what I mean? um, to actually get where you want to go. But nowadays, you just whack in Google in your, your search bar and it'll probably it'll do the Googling for you. Do you know what I mean? You missed out that step. So that's just name services and stuff are one way to get us closer to what, um, what you're used to in Web2 and to make the Web3 space more human friendly. Because at the moment, it's a bit, human unfriendly i would say a hostile <laughs> human unfriendly well it is though isn't it because like no one yeah no one yeah no it's there's, there's sort of like a bridge between computer understanding right and user understanding i guess that, that's one thing that i've learned from doing a bit of programming um not that i really understand what i'm doing most of the time but uh yeah but yeah it's sort of trying to bridge that gap and make it a lot more clear absolutely to... and then that's the thing you just got to make the world user friendly yeah because well, i mean well, otherwise how is your mum gonna watch her cute cat videos right absolutely yeah she's never gonna be able to catch up on what stash yeah, exactly doing. thanks everyone for listening to our introduction to the sui network and hopefully gets you involved to potentially be eligible for the airdrop and i'm stash i'm james I'm Chris. And thank you for watching. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. <laughs> <laughs>